<laughs> Remember, cotton is organic matter. It's yeah. plant material. And so you get an indirect measure of how many microbes you have by looking at how fast your underwear degrades in the soil. I thought I'd have Robert talk about two really interesting tests that's actually an earlier part of the book. He talks about the earthworm test and the underwear test. I meant to do a video on the underwear test because I thought that would be really clickbaity. Um, but I never got around to it this year. But anyway, explain the earthworm. They're both really good tests, and I like the idea. So what's the earthworm test yeah. and the underwear test? So the earthworm test is, is fairly simple. Um, one of the big problems we have is everything we've been talking about tonight is, is about microbes and how they're good for our soil. So the first question every all your viewers should be asking, well, how many microbes do I have? <laughs> right? And how do I find out? Well, the answer is really hard and next to impossible, really. I mean, sure, there's specialized lab tests, but for gardeners, there's no way for you to know how many microbes you have or what kind you have. Even though there's a, there's a bunch of myths and products you can buy, which we we'll, won't go into now. So how do you find out this? Well, there is an indirect way, and that is measuring dewworms or earthworms. And I mentioned earlier that earthworms eat microbes. That's their main food source. So the more microbes you have, the more earthworms you have. As your microbe population goes up, you'll see more earthworms. Right. Which for most gardeners is, is actually a good thing. Uh, for our native lands, it's actually a bad thing. And we can have too many earthworms in the woods and they're causing all kinds of problems. Hmm. Uh, that's another topic, maybe for another talk. But, yeah, I didn't know that. Um, and even the jumping worms now, we got jumping earthworms in Ontario. So that's interesting. Anyways, back to the earthworms. So there is a procedure where you take a piece of ground and you dig it out and you literally count earthworms. And uh, there's a little table in the book, tells you exactly what size of soil to dig up. And then you count the number of earthworms and then you look up and it'll give you an idea of how much organic matter, how many microbes you have in the soil. So it's a measure, it's an indirect measure of how many microbes you have. And so now what you do is you do things to the soil to improve it. And then you come back next year and the year after and do it again. And hopefully you see this number increasing. And if you do, then you're doing the right things. Yes. If they're going down, then you did the wrong things. Yes. Um, these, the second test I, I found a couple of years ago, and I just thought this was, this was a hilarious test. But the funny thing is that it works, which is the really <laughs> cool thing about it. So what you do is you get some cotton briefs. And they actually do this at some of the universities in their soil teaching labs. You get these cotton briefs, and you basically go out and bury them. And then you leave them there for a few weeks and then you dig them up and you look at them. <laughs> Remember, cotton is organic matter. It's yeah. plant material. So cotton will be decomposed by microbes. The more microbes you have, the faster they decompose this underwear. And so you get an indirect measure of how many microbes you have by looking at how fast your underwear degrades in the soil. And... Uh, it actually does work. It's kind of a silly thing to do, but it works. And I, I agree, it should be a YouTube video. <laughs> so it's just two weeks. And I mean, what are you looking for? You're looking for, you, I think you said, if it's, it's just the elastic band, you're, you got it sort of thing. And if it's half gone, you're okay. And if there's nothing gone, you need, you need, some, uh, you need some inputs. So yeah. is, that, is that the basic rule of thumb? Or? That's, that's the basic rule, yeah. Right. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it's really a, 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 you know, not a very quantitative measure of how good your soil is. Yeah. Right. But yeah, if it's just the elastic band, you, you don't need any more tests, it's probably okay. Yeah. Um, you know, but just two weeks. Yeah. That's fast, man. You know. Um, but yeah, I guess newspaper would break down quickly like that. I mean, you uh, know, newspaper breaks down fairly quickly. I think it's slower because it's, it's the, the material in it, uh, bacteria don't actually digest it. It has to be fungi. And they're mm. a little slower in newspaper because it's cellulose. 
Right. Um, so each of these organic compounds will degrade at different rates, depending on what how easy it is to digest. I'm sure I got I got a few pairs of well worn uh, tidy whities that uh, Mrs. Maritime Gardener would be glad to see disappear <laughs> <laughs> into the soil because <laughs> uh, uh, like most guys I'm, I, I sort of keep these things around I never seem to want to part with them uh, until the, <laughs> the bitter end. <laughs>